Hello everyone, this is a very brief tutorial uh, to demonstrate a platform which I find to be very useful when it comes to assessing the state and evolution of tokenization on blockchains. It's called uh, RWA.xyz. Um, RWA of course stands for Real World Asset, as in Real World Asset Tokenization. This is what the platform uh, looks like. I'll just very quickly switch from dark mode to light mode to make things easier. So the first thing that you see here under global market overview is the total real world asset value. This is measured in market capitalization, in value of the assets that have been tokenized on chain. Uh, what you see here is that when we exclude uh, stable coins, obviously private credit leads, uh, real world asset tokenization followed by US Treasury debt, commodities and other institutional funds. Of course, as we have discussed in this week's uh, lecture, when we include uh, stable coins, those uh, dwarf every other category of asset. They are the largest by far. Uh, as you can see here, we have almost 180 billion stable coins that, or US dollars that have been tokenized on chain versus 2.5 billion in treasury or 1.1 in commodities. You can also see here the issuance volume and you can expand this um, uh, time frame here to get more uh, information on a wider time scale. Um, you can see here the most popular uh, networks, the top issuers, <coughs> the top protocols. Securitize is the entity through which BlackRock uh, uh, tokenizes its uh, US treasuries, the Biddle Fund and of course the asset classes. Uh, clicking on stablecoins, you can get more information on stablecoins in particular. Uh, very useful things. Obviously, the market, the market capitalization is something you can also get from other websites, but uh, some other information which I have found to be not as easy to get is uh, mint and burn volumes which you can see here. And of course, you can expand the time frame here or uh, the interval. Uh, you can use daily, weekly, monthly or yearly data. Active addresses, another very important metric, transfer volume, transfer count, uh, number of holders and so on. Obviously, the largest entity here is Tether. The largest network is Ethereum followed by Tron. And then we have some uh, Ethereum layer twos jurisdictions and other important information that I will let you explore on your own. Uh, we have a very similar dashboard for US Treasuries. The average yield to maturity, as you can see, is uh, around 5% at the moment. And we have almost 9,000 holders. Now, the reason why the number of holders is so low compared to other uh, assets is because that because in most cases you have to be vetted uh, in order to be able to access um, tokenized uh, US treasuries. Um, again, uh, top entities, Ondo, Securitize, BlackRock is at the top in terms of issuers and so on. Same for global bonds, private credits, commodities, institutional funds and, um, and stocks. And the last cool feature that I want to showcase is this news tab here, which you can use to stay up to date with latest developments in the space of uh, real world asset tokenization.